Hello guys and welcome back to Squidgy Face Plays and today I'm redoing the Mindplex loot key system crate thing and this was requested by this person on screen here. They requested it because, well, I re like they realised something that I also didn't. That the last video wasn't really a tutorial, it was more of a just a show off and a download link. Now, for you who are on like this video watching like oh how does it work so basically you place a key and that happens yeah um and then you basically pick a chest and you get something that's essentially all this does so that's how i got an emerald so let me just do it one more time just to show you how it works one more time like that let's pick another chest and i've got an anvil so Nothing really exciting from those, but it does work and it's pretty cool. I probably should change the server app he got anvil thing, but I'll change that later. So I'm going to show you how all of that actually works step by step. I'm going to show you every command in the video. And hopefully if I can remember to do it, I will put a um, I will put a thing in the description with every single command in. So the first thing you're going to do is get yourself an item, any item I've chose a end rod and i've renamed it common loot key because that's what i am uh, using for my loot key so once you got that you need to keep it aside for a second so your first set of commands is these here this little strip here now this is for your timing for the like your things being placed stuff like that so the very first one you're going to want is a repeat unconditional always active command that is test for blocks tilde 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 make sure there's a one on the third tilde on each set of that so tilde 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 blah 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 then you want wherever your loot crate is going to be so i've got it as 0 26 0 so that relates to this location here so this chest is at 0 26 0 so wherever your loot crate is going to be that is where you're going to put your your final coordinates there so i've got 0, 0.26 0 because that is where my loot is so then on top of that you're going to want your loot chest and the way you want it to face so as you can see over there it's facing the way i want it here so whatever this is here that's going to be looking for over there so if this is not facing the right way it will not work properly so after you've done that you put the the item that you want so i will show you, you can use a different item it doesn't have to be you know the same exact block if that makes sense like it can be something different it doesn't have to be like an end rod or something so i will show you with a different uh block it might activate straight away because the end one is inside there you go. okay so just show you with a different block really quickly so here it is the end rod will no longer work because i've changed that it's no longer that and i know it said diamond that won't work sorry well press the wrong button there you go diamond won't work so because now i've changed it to the emerald so that's how obviously all that works and stuff so then we're gonna show you the rest of the command so the next one is basically play a sound which is false permission sound that i have it just because it's like a dunk like quick short sweet sound that's pretty much it so set block air so basically you're setting this is basically setting your loot crate to air so there's it basically deletes the loot crate and it's no longer there that one is kill at e type equals item which basically kills the items that fall out the chest once you've turned the chest to air then it's the server saying at p open loot crate i think the reason why that didn't work originally is because there's no space there that needs to have a space it can't the at p part there can't have a um anything next to it so that should have been a space there that's my own stupid little fault so yeah that's that say at p opened a common crate there we go and then you want set block tilde 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 redstone block now this is purely for time you don't have to do this you can do this part really any way you want but i've got it this exact way just for timing purposes so this is basically setting this block to redstone so right underneath where the redstone block is getting placed underneath that there's going to be another command block set onto impulse unconditional needs redstone blah 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 and then you want that set block tilde tilde one tilde air 
That's setting that redstone block straight back to air. So now this is where it gets to the cloning stuff, if that makes sense. So I've done it this way. You can do it a different way. If, like Obviously, this is purely down to personal preference and how I have done this command. But what I did is, so it's cloning oh, just an empty chest. So this is an empty uh, trap chest above it. So that's empty trap chest and it's getting cloned to the different locations so each one of those is a different location which basically is around here so like it's here 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 and here so basically those four like what, four six locations and every other one is just the anvil landing sound so it sounds like they're just like dropping so it's like doosh 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 so that's the clone command to your specific locations and then again that's the play sound and i've got the play sound at the location of the central chest so the sound comes from there so if you're an observer watching from out here watching someone place one of those it comes from out here so i don't know it just kind of sounds cooler if you know what i mean okay so the second part of the command is the randomizer command so at the very end once it's placed all of these right so once it's placed every single one of these blocks underneath here there is a specific command this is an execute command so it's executing at a random armor stand that's named common because it's a common loot crate um, and then set block tilde tilde minus two tilde redstone blah 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 so you that one and then what that's going to do is it's going to find one of these guys so it could be any one of these six and it'll be completely random at the obviously at the at minecraft's choice at the the randomers randomizers choice and when it does this is what's going to give you your item so in the back wait, wait we'll do this actually we'll do the left side first so the left side i've got give at p an emerald so that's the give command so again there give at p iron block Give at the gold block, give at the trident. So, loads of different things you can give. Uh, at the front, I've got the server basically. So, it looks just looks a bit prettier. So, you can say at P, so at the player who's opened it has got nine emeralds. So, like it tells the whole server who's got what and how they've got it, blah, 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 blah. And then underneath that, it's set block air to disable this. So, to, to turn it off essentially. And then behind it, it's going to be set roadstone block over there so now what this does is essentially the reverse of that so what this is going to do is once you set this set the red block redstone block to here so this is this command so set well, this command sorry set redstone block is going to be here it's going to set this to redstone the one underneath it is setting it to air the one to the side of it is to play a firework blast sound so it sounds cool when you open the crate so that just relates to there instead of having this one command block on every single one i've just had it here because it'll just do the same thing and then we've got another set of chain commands which you'll notice there's a roughly seven of them on the chain so we're going to have set block 3260 air then 1263 air so basically all these are setting every single chest back to air that you set over there and then after that is the very last block is going to be cloning the main chest again which is just basically to give you the loot crate chest in the original position and that pretty much is it there's not really much more to this now i will try my best to do a written guide for this as well to put it in the the comments in the description um but yeah that's pretty much it so like i said it's pretty simple so when you place this in obviously it's going to delete it's going to place every single one of them which is what that command has done so the next commands are this bit here the the armor stands so i pick this one as you can see it's saying i've got nine blocks of gold and the reason why it does it so fast it just resets it really really fast because it's all set as this chain command instead of being like this where it's like dish 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 now you can do that you can have it like a reverse where it slowly takes each one away but i just thought that was better 
that way and it played the rocket sound gave me the item and it's reset it again and that's it so i hope this tutorial thing helped i know the last one wasn't really that good and i know the last one was pretty much to show off this map as a download now that's still a thing you can still download this map in its entirety so it's easier to look at the download for this will be in the description below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next episode bye